before we get into the reaction, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and you, if you want to become a member too, and shit. a member of the channel, it's up to you though. I ain't forcing it. But uh, it's like, are these real paranormal entities caught on camera? Let's see. You're about to see some seriously scary videos that no one can quite explain. Let's take a look. In this haunting image shared to Reddit by user Just Come a Cat Life, a large shadowy figure is visible in a corridor of the old South Pittsburgh Hospital in Tennessee. What's even creepier is that this corridor is supposedly referred to as the Shadow Hall due to frequent reports of a seven foot tall shadowy figure often seen there. The photograph was taken on the second floor towards the end of an exploratory night. Accompanied by only one other person who was positioned in front of him with a flashlight, the poster confirms that this mysterious shadow could not have been cast by either of them. The old South Pittsburgh Hospital is renowned among paranormal enthusiasts for its frequent and varied paranormal occurrences. It's become a hotspot for those intrigued by the supernatural, attracting visitors from all around. Going the out. hospital's eerie atmosphere I'm is good. enhanced by numerous reports of mysterious noises, unexplained movements, and chilling encounters. Earlier that same night, the poster experienced a spine-chilling incident themselves. While walking alone down a dark first-floor hallway, they heard a hissing noise emanating from a nearby room. But when they took a look, there was nothing there. So then, does this photograph prove that the old Pittsburgh hospital in Tennessee really is haunted? Let me know your thoughts on this one down below. In a perplexing image shared by Steve O. Holland over on the Facebook page Disbelief Paranormal Official, a seemingly ordinary photo captures an extraordinary detail. The photograph features Steve O and his wife smiling beside their cat, but it's the background that draws eerie attention. Visible in the glass of a door to their right is the distinct reflection of a man's face. Steve O's adamant that the reflection couldn't simply be dismissed. He notes that directly opposite the two doors is merely a wall under the stairs, eliminating the possibility of a normal reflection. Adding to the mystery, Steve O mentions that the face in the reflection bears a striking resemblance to his father, who had just recently passed away. This detail lends a personal and potentially supernatural element to the image suggesting the possibility of a visitation or acknowledgement from the beyond. Skeptics might attribute the image to tricks of light or optical illusions, yet for Steve-O and his wife, the photograph seems to hold a deeper, possibly spiritual significance. While it appears there is indeed a face reflecting off the glass, at this stage no one has a definitive answer as to who or what it is. There's very little information available on this next video. Uploaded to John Boy's creepy content on TikTok, it shows a group of people making their way down a dirt path. When suddenly they notice a rather eerie looking figure up ahead. As you can see, the figure appears to lift into the air. Man, what is that? Oh, no. No. Unfortunately, no this is where the video ends and we're left to wonder what on earth the mysterious figure might have been. While this footage certainly shows a perplexing sight, it's difficult to make judgement on what's actually going on simply based on the lack of information. So, as always, we'll throw this one over to you, the viewers, for final judgement. What do you think this perplexing video is actually showing? Let me know in the comments down below. What y'all think? That, that shit. Shit, that, that. 
Get in a series of chilling exactly photographs like shared by tour guide Elena Vratos Jacobs to Facebook, something unusual has been caught on camera at the notorious Waverly Hills yes. Sanatorium in Louisville, Kentucky. That's crazy. The initial photo reveals an empty corridor, setting a somber scene for what follows. However, it's the subsequent images that stir both intrigue and unease. These photographs distinctly capture what appears to be the ghostly legs and feet of a spectral figure. Elena explains that during her nighttime exploration, she aimed to document any paranormal phenomena, adhering to the practice of taking three consecutive shots to ensure nothing is ever missed. It's in the middle picture where the eerie details emerge unmistakably. The visible feet and legs suggest the presence of one or possibly two entities. Given the history of the location where two sisters face tragedy amidst the tuberculosis epidemic, with one delivering a baby afflicted by the disease, Elena speculates that these could be the wandering spirits of the sisters, perhaps eternally walking the halls side by side. Described as one of the most haunted places in America, the Waverly Hills Sanatorium is home to many eerie ghost stories. One of the most famous is that of the ghost of Room 502. This particular story revolves around the tragic and mysterious circumstances surrounding the death of a nurse who worked at the sanatorium in the 1920s. During its operation as a tuberculosis hospital, Waverly Hills was the last hope for many suffering from the disease, which at the time was often fatal and had no cure. The staff was under constant pressure and emotional strain due to the high mortality rate among patients. The story goes that a young nurse was found dead in room 502 and had reportedly hanged herself. Damn. It's said that the nurse became pregnant by one of the Suicide. doctors at the sanatorium. Being unmarried and pregnant would have been a significant social stigma at the time, possibly leading to her despair. Another version suggests that she was deeply depressed by the constant deaths and suffering around her. Unable to cope with the stress, she allegedly took her own life. Over the years, numerous reports have surfaced from visitors and paranormal investigators about strange occurrences in and around room 502. Some claim to have seen the figure of a woman in period nurse's attire, sometimes appearing with a noose around her neck. This famous ghost photo here Creepy. allegedly shows the nurse of room 502. This tale has made room 502 a focal point for ghost tours and paranormal investigations at Waverly Hills. The combination of its tragic past, the emotional intensity of the stories, and the chilling experiences reported by visitors continues to fuel the legend, making it a staple of ghostly lore surrounding the sanatorium. Bro, that's a girl, so, it think? seems that these photos, coupled with the tales of Room 502, might prove that more than one spectral figure still haunts the halls of the old Waverly Hills Sanatorium. Take another look at the images and let me know what you think they actually show in the comments down below. This next image, seen here uploaded to the Disbelief Paranormal official Facebook page, has been floating around the internet for some time. Oh, the, the, According to the page, it was captured at a suburban hospital in Chiang Rai in northern Thailand by a ghost hunting team. It's noted that the figures were supposedly not caused by motion blur as there wasn't anybody in front of the camera at the time. At a quick glance, there appears to be two ghostly figures on the staircase. However, if you take a closer look, there might actually be more, several perhaps lined up behind the front too. If this photo is authentic, then it would have to be one of the best ghost photos ever captured. Unfortunately, as there's little information available on the image at this time, it will have to remain a mystery, at least for the time being. Jason Spiegel recently posted this video clip to our Slaptam official community page over on Facebook. It's an excerpt taken from a security camera at his son's newly constructed home, only days after he moved in.
The post announced that the property is in a very private area that's surrounded by woods and the nearest public road is more than a thousand feet away. So then, what could the strange ghostly shape actually be? Let me know your take on this in the comments down below. No, Before we take a look at some definitely. strange home security footage that was posted over on our Slaptam subreddit, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be notified every time we drop our intriguing and curious videos. Are orbs really spirits flittering through the air, or simply just dust particles? A simple mention of them in paranormal circles is likely to start a fierce debate. However, every so often a video comes along that shows something that doesn't quite fit into either explanation. Take this video uploaded to our Slaptam subreddit by user infamous parsley1210 for example. It shows the view from a home security camera a little before 8 in the morning. At first, everything seems perfectly normal. However, just over 30 seconds into the clip, something quite strange happens. Take a look. The space is suddenly illuminated by a strange shape. Sometime later, a man down. enters the room. One keen-eyed viewer noted he seems to have heard something and come to investigate its cause. He searches the area but appears unable to find anything out of place. Suddenly, the strange shape appears yet again. The man continues searching the area for We're a few like, more seconds. However, he soon appears disinterested and leaves. Yeah, bro, like, what the hell going on? Several Redditors have attempted to explain the anomaly. One suggested no, it might there. be caused by the LEDs in the room. Another thought it was the result of the sensor dying in the camera. Yet another turned to the paranormal for answers, suggesting it was a spirit attempting to manifest. This is certainly a very curious piece of footage, but what do you think it actually shows? Was the shape and sudden flash of light caused by a technical issue? Or does this video show something a little more mysterious? Love to hear your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. Yeesh, what y'all think that was? <laughs> no idea. Yeah, bro, that's crazy though. I don't know what that could have been, but he he was just looking like, damn, what the hell going on? And I don't know, my boy, that's some creepy ass shit though. <clears throat> Whew. Waiting it out and shit though. It's cool though. I'm gonna keep it going, man. I'm gonna keep it coming, you already know. But uh, yeah, let me know what y'all thought about this one though.